Hello and welcome back to the Sherlock Holmes and the Mystery of the Persian Carpet. Do we get another witness? Is this yes? This is the new witness, Mister Yelling, forty-five years old, barman at the Golden Lion. Brian, he was in yesterday at half eight. He had hurt his arm. I served him a small bracer and gave him one of my rags to support his arm. I called the doctor who. Had bandaged him up and everyone left it closing at 10 o'clock what a night well yes it's the same night that william i should say mr hatham found the corpse him too he was there for his break at quarter past nine unknown to his boss since i'm right next to the cement works he saw the wound and he said that the sight of blood makes his stomach turn he had a bit more to drink than usual to bear up and his dog started to break, bark, so he left, cussing and staggering. It was ten to ten at night. Then I was closing the shutters of my bar when I saw him returning from the cement works, stumbling all over the place. He vomited at the corner and dodged off. He had it bad. When I closed the curtains of my room, he was still there. I stayed up a bit longer as I had heard scuttling and groaning outside. It was him, all pale, on his way to the station. I'd say sometime around midnight. Yelling. That was our last witness, I believe. Oh, but we still have two more suspects, probably. Let's go to the bar. Can we not go to the bar? I'd like to go to the bar. Oh. Ladies' sitting room. Oh. A coded lock. Find the correct code to open the box without surpassing the number of tries permitted. Change the numbers by clicking on the arrows and confirm your selection to find out the result. A red light indicates the wrong number. A green light indicates correct number. The same number cannot be used more than once. If you surpass the number of tries, the code changes and you must start again. Oh, it's just a code guessing game. So, one. Oh gosh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Oh, that was the only one that's right. Wow, okay. Let's go up one. Wow, none of those are right. Okay, up one again. Yes, okay, this is the closest we've ever been. Oh, let's hope that this can't be a seven. This can't be an eight. This can't be a nine. It could be a zero. It could, it's gonna be a zero. Okay, this one can't be a zero. It can't be a one. It can't be a two. It can't be a three. It could be a four. Wait, one, two, three, four. This one started at five, so that's correct. And this one's been zero, one, two, three, four, but it's been nothing else. So this one is definitely a six. Yay! Trial and error. What a strange sewing box. Untangle the threads, attach the needles, grab the pin with your mouse, and pull until you notice the color change. No thread should cross. This is the same puzzle that was in the testament of sherlock holmes oops yes this is the same exact puzzle that was in the testament of sherlock holmes
Oh my god. Okay, final fucking leap. I don't even know how long I spent on that. I had to look up a video of someone else doing it and following their exact movements because that was just too much for me. We got a wedding ring, an engagement ring, a golden ring. We got powder. What else are we looking for? A poem, a dagger, and male nails. Poem, a dagger, and male nails. Le Français de Salon. Oh, male nails. There's pearls all over the place. I guess that's just fancy. A poem. Hmm. Wait, let's go back to that. I really can't open any of these guys. Oh! By the ladder at my window, night to morn, he will come and go, quick, your load to be put down, or by your lord, the truth be known. The Vincent, probably. A decorative dagger. Where does... Where does one get a decorative dagger? There it is. A new suspect has been summoned. Well played, Holmes. Lady Linden, 20 years old, wife of Lauren Linden. Ah, it's horrible. I beg you to say nothing to my husband. I'm so ashamed. Mr. Gordon was blackmailing me. He had proof that he was my half-brother. Wow. And he was full of an inhuman rage. He began taking a few trinkets, like this bracelet, and then he started asking me for money in greater and greater sums. I had to sell the ring for my father in order to pay him. At last, the nightmare is over. Oh, I didn't wish for his death. He's a boy with certain endearing qualities. If only he hadn't sought revenge by torturing me. So he was blackmailing her. Oh, there's a feather. Bravo. Alright, hold on. Let's head back to Baker Street because we got a lot to analyze. We got makeup. I imagine it's just regular makeup. Fine makeup powder. Interesting. Satin ribbon. Hmm. Fine makeup powder. Interesting. Well, I'm definitely not going to... I am going to scrape it. False gold ring. Interesting. False gold ring. Alright, let's go to our deduction board here. So that satin ribbon, do you think that it's hers? Fine makeup powder. The feather is hers. No! <laughs> Oh, man. Fine makeup powder. Violet ink. Lady's hair. Wasn't the thing in the, um, hall written in violet ink? And the lady's hair. Red paint. Money. Money. Hmm. Lady shoes. Lady's sitting room. Ma fine makeup powder. Fine makeup powder, yeah. Oh, I guess there's things in the garden that I have to look at now. I didn't realize. Oh. A piece of an image. I wonder if, it, if the others are hidden under this mechanism. 
Drag the board bearing the image towards the exit by clicking it with your mouse. The boards can move either vertically or horizontally, but not both at once. Hmm. I hate these kinds of puzzles. They drive me up the wall. <laughs> these puzzles are really difficult for me. Like, sincerely very difficult. These are some of the most difficult puzzles I can ever, ever handle. Honestly. Honestly, they're so difficult for me. <laughs> Have you ever seen that game? Um, it's like a cat sliding game. You slide the cats all over the place. Um, that's this. That's this puzzle right here. It's just... It's just... Plain... Difficult. Cruel. Evil. Difficult. Yes! God, look at that handsome bastard. Why, it's the calling card from our painter. How so very surprising. You'd think a rather well-to-do young painter. I'm sorry, what? Did I read that wrong? Play card. We're looking for a play card and a ribbon. Play card and a ribbon. I assume I'm going to be looking for a satin pink ribbon, which is something I definitely am not able to spot. Ah! There it is. And the last thing we're looking for is a play card. Oh. I need a shovel? Oh, there it is. You are a dead player. Gary Oak. I know that Gary Oak is evil. More words of love. Undoubtedly, gambling debts. We must summon this Mr. Oak. A new suspect has been summoned to Scotland Yard. You can read the in interrogation. Bravo, Holmes. Such talent. Gary Oak. Can you stop flashing? 40 years old. Unemployed. Gambler and a swindler. Extracts from the statement. Yeah, well, the bloke owed me a few... knickers. And now... He's dead then? I'd be waiting for him. Oh, God damn it, I can't read this. I'd be waiting for him for a while then, won't I? Now who'll be getting me smackers back to me? God damn it. Ah, ha ha ha. You fancy yourself a funny man, do you? Kill him over a few bob? This guy has a million different ways to save money. Sure, I leaned on him a bit to make him crack. He wasn't a big bull, so I could have done it easy. Now, I'd like to get along if you don't mind. No, really, he has like a million different ways to say money. Handkerchief. Handkerchief! Oh, that was just a piece of his shirt. Bravo, Holmes. Such talent. There's more stuff here to look at now. Dress coat. Oh, wig. Other people's wig caps kind of gross me out. What am I looking at here? Come on, give me something. Aston. This wig is from Aston Theater. Oh. I need the key. Oh. A panel is hidden under the bed. Play against the computer to draw the most squares. In alternating turns, you will draw a line. Each time that you or the computer completes a square, you get another turn. So watch what the computer is doing. Oh, I know this game.
Shit. 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 Fuck. 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 Oh, that was bad. That was totally bad. Oh, I should have given him this one. Ah, oh, fuck me. I really should have given him this one up here. Oh, I lost. All right, let's try again. I think I have this round. I could be wrong, but I think I have this round. Yeah, I won this round, I'm pretty sure. Yay! I will await you in the hall tomorrow afternoon at 5 o'clock. L. Linden. A message from Lord Linden dated the evening of the murder. Therefore, he lied when he said that he had terminated the painters several days earlier. Hmm. We're still looking for a dress coat and a dark hair. There's the dark hair. We're also looking for a key. There's the key. And there's the dress coat. Cool. Cool beans. Alright guys, let's go ahead and do the rest in the next episode. This episode was probably a little bit shorter because I literally spent half of the time on the needle puzzle. Because that was awful. No, I'm teasing. But you guys, I will go ahead and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.